It's huge. What's a gay horse eat for lunch? The horse had, hey, girl. Yep, that's pretty funny. How did the mathematician work out his constipation? With the number two pencil. Ha ha. If you don't get that, well, you're young. You wouldn't know what a pencil is. Okay, gear position sensor, also gonna be called a gear position selector. Uh, one more thing that can cause you issues on your bike. If you have a fuel injected bike, this is probably one of the pickups on it. And this provides voltage to the bike to give it input to the ECU. And if it's not getting the right voltage, it will just shut the bike down. It'll start, it'll idle, it'll stop. Uh, you could be riding along, it'll stop. If for some reason it's destroyed, like if the wires got burned, like what happened to one guy where they burned against his new exhaust system, and he put his new exhaust pipe on and rode a little bit, and the bike just shut off. And it, they couldn't, no one could figure it out. And I said, well, look, dude, this is the only thing you changed. Then the problem started. You have to backtrack into that area. Anything that that area would have affected, if it messed something up, that's where you need to look. We'll come to find out it burned these wires and the gear position selector wires on a 701 and the bike wouldn't even start anymore. So anyhow, we got to the bottom of that. But it is one more pain in the ass sensor selector that can cause you issues on the bike. And it shouldn't happen because it's a dirt bike, but it does because they're state of the art and the world is a state of the art. We'll see pain in the ass that can't take care of itself. And people complain about their bike Dirt bikes are too bumpy, and they have to change jetting, or it runs a little rough. Blah, 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 blah. My life is so hard. <clears throat> but I'm not going to complain about the state of the world being sissies. What we are going to do now is take you to the schematic, show you where to find this on the bike, and kind of show you about how it could become a problem and how to fix it. Let's roll. Okay, let's narrow this dude down. Here's our thing. KTM Parts Pro, that's the place we're going to go. KTM Parts Pro. Probably the best place to buy parts. Now, pick your bike. Um, in the case of the, uh, case of the shop that was having the issues, it was a 2021 350X CF. So we'll look at that particular bike. Find your bike. It would be under the shifting mechanism. It's part of the shifting mechanism. because what the part does, it's right here and it picks up the rotation of the, this little magnet that's on the end of the shift drum. So here's your shift drum. This is what happens. This is what spins when you shift gears. It moves these shift forks in and out and it moves the gears back and forth. These little prongs are in these, these runners. Uh, they move up along the shaft. That's how it shifts gears. This deal here is located on the end of it. Your, your case is right here in between. This piece right here. This is the actual crankcase position selector. You can see where the, uh, the clip is here to go into the wiring harness. This is the cover that would be on the outside. So you would see something like this with slots in it, metal piece behind your uh, shifter on the shifting side of the bike. You'll just take these bolts off. This plate will come off, protector plate. This thing will just come right off the bike. It just fits on the outside of the crankcase. And this here's where the problem lies is dirt gets in between this piece right here and the crankcase. When that happens, the voltage can't transfer like it should between these little nubbies, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this pickup. So either the magnets are in here, either a magnet, a magnet is in here, and these things are steel, or there's steel inside of here for your pickup, and these are 
magnets. It could go either way. But the transfer of the tube, magnetism to steel, sends electricity, that would send the voltage. Um, either, either way. Uh, dirt has iron in it. Iron is ferrous, which means it sticks to magnetism, so it could stick to the case. You know, would this be a magnetism, or it could stick to this? Anyhow, um, when the, the voltage output of this thing, sending voltage between these two things gets interrupted or gets too low, that will cause you to shut down. So uh, you might just want to, every once in a while, maybe every 30 hours, just take this thing off, clean your case, clean the inside of this, make sure it's a nice, good connection. From now on, knowing this, I'm going to put these things back together, and I'm going to silicone all around this bead, all around this seam right here to make sure that nothing ever happens. Uh, would water affect it? It could possibly. I mean, I don't, even on snow bikes, water, anything like that, it's something that I would definitely address and seal up, knowing what I know. Um, if you wonder what the hell this thing's for, uh, it's basically to keep your motor from blowing up. It sends, uh, in first gear, second, second gear, and third gear, you know, these bikes, some of these bikes, they rev out real high. Let's say like a 250 or 350 XCF. Man, those things are revving up to almost 14,000 RPMs. But if you're holding it on at those high RPMs, first, second, and third gear, especially first, second, and third, uh, it's possible that the thing would blow, a valve might float or something like that. So uh, when you're in the lower gears, that's what this thing's for. To let the ECU know, I'm a lower gear, let's lower the RPM sealing on it to keep this thing from wadding up and that's it but it can be a real pain in the ass when it doesn't work anyhow now you know exactly what's up uh go ahead and fix it go ahead and service that thing every maybe 30 hours make sure that thing's clean before you have an issue and that's it all right i hope you have a great night and i will talk to you soon